Okay, so last day, day three. It's been uh, really short days. The days get really short and also Christmas coming up with all the kids and all this stuff to do. So this is my last day. Gravel will be here tomorrow. I don't have that much left to do, but what I want to do is get the dirt and gravel that's already here off of the um, sidewalk there and then get rid of the grass that's growing in the parking area here along with there's uh, grass and stuff growing up against the woodshed and stuff like that so if I can kind of clear that out hopefully they'll keep the grass from growing up through the new gravel um, so yeah don't have much time so let's get to work let's finish let's finish it up get ready for gravel Today's the big day. Time for gravel. First thing I'm gonna do, run down to the gate, pin it open, uh, and also I think remove the gate opener just so he doesn't hit it, because it is a pretty tight gate. And then uh, kind of fine tune some stuff as I'm coming up the hill, and then uh, just hang out and wait. I'm pretty sure I'll find something else to do while I'm waiting. So let's get started. And I think I'll move this bar too. If it sticks out just enough. We'll give him as much room as he needs. He'll probably be fine. I can get my tow trailer, my dump trailer in here, but just to be safe. That way I don't have to fix it if he if it does get hit. So there we have it, fresh new gravel. It's been uh, about 10 years since it's been graveled last time, so it's kind of exciting. I think the wife's gonna be happy when she gets back home. Uh, what we got was three loads, um, total of 68 tons. Um, looks like he does 22 tons, a, just over 22 tons a run. That was a truck and transfer, so it was a uh, truck 
and then a trailer, and then they'll load the trailer onto the back of the truck and then dump it again. So we kept making runs. And the closest for the place for them to turn around is about a mile that way. So that's what we got here. Took about mm, probably four hours from uh, when he started. Nice part too is a gravel plant. I can actually see the uh, scar in the ground where the gravel pit is, but it's still about 20 minute truck drive away, <coughs> round trip. So let's talk material. What we got here, see if I can get it to focus on the rock and not my face, is inch and a half minus, or inch and a half AB, or inch and a half in fines. There's lots of different ways to say it. And basically what that means is anything that'll fall through an inch and a half screen, as far as the large aggregate, and then all the other stuff that falls along with it. So all the way down to basically sand. Focus on that. <clears throat> so when he dumps it, as you can see, he would just tilt his bed. He had some chains that held the gate from opening all the way up. And then that would, he would just drive and it would just kind of fall out. So it's about three to four inches thick in the middle of this, the road. And we don't really drive on the middle of the road. Our wheels are kind of off to each side. So what I'm gonna do is get in the tractor and try and uh, flatten out that middle section and kind of push everything out. Also, need to do the areas where the gravel meets the concrete in front of the shed here and also in front of the walkway. So, now that we got the gravel, the work can begin. Let's get started. Um, that little cutout that I did in front, cleaning it out, helps out a lot because you don't want the gravel to be above the sidewalk and then it's just going to roll in and or onto it, especially because we're on a hill here. Cutting that little trench allows the gravel to be flush with the sidewalk. So there we got it. Fresh gravel. Flattened everything out. Over time, it's gonna kinda like pack down and spread out, so I'll have to hit it with the tractor again. But yeah, I'm pretty excited. The wife hasn't been home yet, so she's gonna be super excited when she gets home. And uh, hopefully we can keep some of the mud and stuff, all the little footprints from going inside. So yeah, that's all I got to say about that. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one.